An unmarked rim cylinder. Uh, just had a quick go with it to see if these keys rate it. Um, did tried the three peak key um, on all three depths, which didn't. So we're going to be using the ridge ones on this and trying them in there. Again, just they're just light raking, same as you would do with a pick set. Only instead of a tension wrench that's applying the tension, you just see how little I'm turning that key there. So that's when it's sat freely, you're just turning it that tiny little bit, very similar to bumping it, and then uh, we're just raking the key. That one seems a little bit tight in there, so we'll move on to the next key. You get a feel for these, once you've used them a couple of times, you can, you can actually feel the difference in the heights of the keys to know if they're a little bit... Oh, that one's gone. I might have put that in the vise too tight. I don't think it can turn right. Oh, there we go. Just turn round. Let's try the last height in this. Yeah, once you've done a few of these, you can actually feel where they're grinding. So you can feel if the pins are pushing right down on the key, you can feel it as you're raking because it puts up a resistance as you're pushing that in. So you know you want the profile below. Like that's starting to stick a little bit mad because I'm at oh, it's because I'm at an angle a little bit. No look there, but as you saw again, one out of the three in these ripple keys on the rate keys, again another lock open. <laughs> it's just amazing to me, it really is. 